Hey, how you doing? Uh, I just want you to know how to make a video and to add some still photos at the end. Uh, recently on Tangled, uh, Little Hooligan uh, shared a challenge with me about producing a series of selfies, a video with a series of selfies. And uh, some people have contacted me and said they couldn't, uh, they didn't know how to put like the still photo of the selfie into the stream of the video. And I'm just doing this quick, short uh, YouTube video to show you how to do it. So let's get started. I'm gonna share my screen. There we go. And what I've done is right here, you'll see highlighted in gray, now blue, uh, you will see uh, a video, a strip, uh, a video that I downloaded from my phone to my computer. I'm gonna open that video with a video editor and then I'm going to bring in some photos at the end of it. It's quite simple and it's quite fun. So let's, I right click my mouse button to open up this menu. And it says open with, and I'm going to open it with ClipChamp. ClipChamp is free. I use it free. I haven't upgraded or anything. It's a free uh, app that you can use to edit, uh, edit your videos. So it's opening up. There's the video. And uh, here, down at the bottom here, is the video, uh, each frame of the video being shown. And I can change the length of the video. Like here at the end, you can see there's some dead time at the end of the video. So I'm going to just take that off by bringing that in like that. At least I think I am. I'm going to do, let's see. No, that's going to delete the whole video. Well, let's not worry about that. This is just a silly video that I put together uh, driving in my car. And we don't need to get rid of that right now anyway. So let me just see what it does. No, 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 no. It's just a uh, dead space at the end of the video. OK, we're fine. We're fine. So what I want to do is drop uh, some still pictures at the end of this video. And it's really simple. All you have to do is go to import media, or you can drag and drop. And what I'm going to do is drag and drop. So here are some pictures that I just opened up. Um, using my uh, file and I'm gonna take, let's see, I'll take this picture here and I just have to drag and drop it over here. Now that, this this is my palette from which I can work. I'm all, uh, this little check mark shows that I've already got this video in, in my uh, workspace, but this is a palette from which I'm gonna work and I'm just gonna pop over a couple of pictures like this. Yeah, there's a bunch of selfies of all different types of people. Okay. And now we come back to the uh, click editor here. And all I do is take that and I drag it. And I drag it and I put it right there. Okay. Then I take another one and I put it right there. Now, you'll see that the space, okay, each box is a certain size and it shows two photos. It doesn't, it's not gonna show two photos in the, uh, in, in the video. Uh, all this is is telling you how long that picture is gonna show. And that's way too long for someone to sit through, to be honest. So we shorten it up just by shrinking the box like that. We'll bring this in closer here so there's no dead space between them. And we bring that, shorten it up, make it nice and short so we don't have to look at the same photo for too long. Now, now you see that it uh, shows a very small portion of the photo. It's still going to show the entire photo. Don't worry about that. It's still going to show the entire photo. It's that we're only designating the length of time that photo will be shown. So this big white line right here shows us where in the video we are. So I'm gonna tap this and we're gonna move through those photos. See, there's one, the next one, and the next one. See, that's all there is to it. So let's take another one and add one more. Oh, we'll add two more because we gotta get me in there, right? 
crying out loud. I go do showing this. I don't even put my own photo in. What am I talking about? So let's shorten this one up. And we'll bring this over. Now, if we didn't bring this over, there'd be that big dead space in there. And I believe the program will warn you about that dead space as to whether you want it there or not. So let's move this all the way back to the beginning. And we'll just run through this video quick. And this this video, it's, it's uh, from my phone, but my phone was mounted in my car and I was driving and we went by this place that's like an airplane graveyard. I have no idea what it is, but there are dead airplanes uh, stored there. Uh, and one night, uh, late at night, we're traveling back on the main road that passes right in front of this airplane graveyard. And there was this big black blob down the highway coming right at us and it was huge and as we got closer we saw it was a uh 18 wheeler just a flatbed with an airplane on the back of it and it, you know it was like 11 or 11 30 at night it's a quiet road anyway uh and so they were transporting another plane to the graveyard at that time but this is just crazy this is just crazy in my mind you can see that's like the engine casing just there to the right. You're gonna get a better picture. There you go. And, uh, and then before I head out to the main road where I, uh, where I was driving and saw the plane being brought in, I'm gonna swing around and just look at that airplane. Hey, look at that thing. Just there, an old dead airplane. And there's the one, two, three, four, five pictures added to the end. So that's all there is to it. And then when you're all done, all you have to do is hit, let's, let's close this out for a second. Having trouble seeing it. Okay, let's close that out. Now, all I do is hit export and this will be exported to a, um, to a uh, external file as a video. Now, just as I said, if there's some gaps in the video, it'll say, go back and fix the gaps. So I can go back and fix the gaps. And I'm not sure, maybe the gap is right there. Let's just check. Yeah, delete gap. Any other gaps in here? No, I don't think there's a gap there. Just, no, I think that's the only gap we got. So now we could export this and see now, yeah, there's no gaps left. We can export it. I export it at 720, which is a smaller file for a faster export and upload to Tangled. So that's how you add some photos to the end of your video. And I hope that was helpful to you. You guys have a great day and make a big difference today.